Well, Sam, did Burnley win that game or did you lose it? We lost it um, by not not um, not scoring the second goal when we had the clear, clear opportunities more than one, perhaps three in the first half, apart, as well as the goal we scored. I think that uh, Burnley, having not won a game in 11 matches and we'd have got 2-0 up before half-time would have made it hugely difficult for them. And then gifting a goal... Um, after about 10, 11 minutes of the, of the second half, lifted the, the whole spirits around the around Burnley's uh, Burnley's ground, and that then heaped our more pressure on ourselves. A goal we could have avoided, and um, and uh, really second half performance, we didn't make the right decisions, both defensively and certainly in possession, and then so we had to do some defending deeper than we were in the first half. When we did get into the game, after we soaked up that pressure, um, we failed to get in front or get the opportunity to get in front. And I think that it was very unfortunate that Gilfie carved out such a brilliant opportunity for himself that he didn't finish it off. And, that, and then you pay the price for that. So losing a goal off a corner is something that I always dislike and could have been avoided. So two very easy goals gifted to Burnley today, um, which is um, one that takes the pressure off them having not won in 11 and heaps the pressure on us away from home because that's five bit defeats on the trot. So while our own form and our own points is good, simply just not good enough um, today, yet again, and very disappointed. What disappoints you more? Is it the, the not taking chances or is it the both the defending? Both, both, because the defending becomes easier when we get 2-0 up. And the defending becomes easier when you get 2-1 up. And uh, you eat the pressure back on the, your, your defenders and you have to defend too long. And that's what we had to do in the second half. We, we didn't cope using the ball well enough. We didn't play the ball in the right areas well enough. We didn't do it as well as Burnley in the second half. Um, and that's why Burnley causes more problems than we cause Burnley. And, uh, and in the end, that's down to technique and, uh, and making the right decisions, which we, we unfortunately didn't do in that second half, but looked like we were going to, going to, again, possibly get a draw. Um, but then when we let the corner in, that is, you know, and then Ashley getting sent off was, you know, just summed our day up, you know, so... Is that pure frustration on his part? It, it, it seemed that but it shouldn't happen. I mean, he swung an arm, and he, he, you know, he's, he's an experienced uh, football player that um, you know can't let your frustrations get the better of you because all that does is play in, even more so into Burnley's hands. Even though our ten men gave a, a brave fight of it, and we continued to try and press to to get an equaliser against Burnley. We didn't really, unfortunately, show enough quality in the final third to uh, create another chance. And unfortunately today, missed too many. And talking of frustration, we heard the fans at the end. Do you feel like they feel when you see a second half like that? Um, they, they won't believe this, but I feel worse than them because it's my responsibility. So uh, um, I go um, home and say to myself, and I've been for a while, like, how do I put this right? And then set out a plan and and do the best for the, that week's training to show the players what they've got to do against uh, each team they come across and, and hope they go out and and show their abilities like you know and uh, you know I think that for for me uh, to see them you know underperform in the second half not the first but the second half is very disappointing for me but it's it's my my problem to sort it out